Hi, this is Tyler Tristar's mom again, and um, I wanted to do a part two of Paul Blart Mall Cop because <clears throat> in my first video review, I kind of left out the review part. I mean, I talked about like the case and some of the stuff that's on the DVD, but I didn't really talk about the story. So this time I'd like to talk a little bit about the story and why I think it'd be a really good movie to rent if you haven't already seen it. Um, well, the main character is Paul Blart, and he is just a really funny teddy bear type of guy who is real gentle and just, just, just a sweetheart. And... Uh, He's kind of lonely, and he's real awkward around women, and he doesn't really know how to be, like, um, he doesn't know how to get their attention and be liked and wanted. So um, when he starts working at this mall as this as a security guard, he uh, sees this really pretty woman, and he really you know tries hard to get her attention and. And um, so in some ways it's sort of like a romantic comedy, but it isn't like the stupid romantic comedies that you see um, most of the time where the whole movie is about two people and it's so predictable and oh, I just, I just hate those kind of movies. This one was really light on the romance. Um, but it was just the perfect amount I thought because it was mostly a comedy and uh, that's what it really that's what the main focus was and it was just it was just really funny all the way through it was really really cute um, now what I mentioned before about like he's he's protecting the mall and what it basically is about is that some some guys they're the the ones that I mentioned in the first part they are like, well, it, it, there's a girl in the group too. They're like skateboarding slash cycling ninjas that come flying basically into the mall doing flips and jumps and really unrealistic stunts that were just like way over the top. And I think that's the part, I think that's that might be um, a contributing factor to why it got some negative reviews because I just really felt like that was just way overdone and it didn't really seem realistic at all um, but you know I know it's a comedy and the stuff that Paul Blart did to fend them off wasn't really realistic either um, but he made it work a lot more than their part in the movie their part in the movie was just kind of like it just seemed kind of weak um, and you know, and then you just can't. I I rolled my eyes a couple times because I was like, oh yeah, right. They were able to leap, you know, fifty feet in the air and and do a flip and then land, you know, on their wheels. I thought, wow, that's that is pretty lame. <clears throat> but overall, I mean, the movie itself was when I think about the whole movie as a as a whole, not pick apart little pieces of it. It was fun, and I watched it, I think, three times now, and I laughed really hard all the way through each time that I watched it. So I definitely recommend it, and um, so uh, that's all I really had to say about it for now. I don't think I'll do a part three, because, I mean, it, while it's a really good movie, I don't <laughs> think, I think I can probably move on to the next one. So anyways, um... And, and plus this made Tyler Tristar really happy. He's been trying to make me, he's trying, he's been trying to have me do a movie review for a long time. So this made him really happy. But I made him leave the room because he interrupts me too much. Anyways, um, we'll take care and we, and I'll be back maybe another time to do another review for Tyler. Till next time. Bye.